Welcome to another round of Hometown High Q, the playoff edition. And here on Williams Hometown High Q, all the teams you see competing today have won during the regular season and have moved on to the playoffs. And the winner here will move on to the next round of playoffs. And today we have teams competing from Albert Gallatin High School, from Charleroi High School, and Fox Chapel High School. This should be a very good matchup. And we're going to start all three teams off in the database round. In this round, each team gets 100 points just for showing up. So there's already points on the board, but answering a question here will get you 20 more points. There's no deductions in this round for incorrect answers. And I want to let you know that any student can answer. However, if we get multiple answers at once, we're going to always default to the team captain in that instance. First up will be our team from Albert Gallatin High School. And before we get to the database round questions, let's meet the team. Hi, my name is Morgan Hirschberger, and I am a senior here at Albert Gallatin High School. I'm on the softball team, the debate team, academic league, and young astronauts club, and I also play the violin. Hello, my name is Luke Flecker. I'm a senior here at Albert Gallatin High School. I'm captain of the soccer team. I'm on the track team, and I'm on academic league and math team. My name is Caleb Cloak. I'm a junior at Alba Gallatin High School, and I do track, cross country, academic league, and hometown high cube. Albert Gallatin High School, it is great to have you back on the show. And here's your first database round question. Instead of a riddle, see if you can find hidden in this phrase, the name of what capital city of Spain? Madrid. Madrid is it. Something that is archaic can best be described by which of these words? Ancient. That's it. Count its corner. To count 20 more points, rearrange these letters to name the 12 year post-Civil War period when Southern states were occupied by federal troops. Reconstruction. Correct. These are two geographical features of what former British colony, a city that was returned to China in 1997 and has recently been the site of pro-democracy protests. Hong Kong. Correct. The nearest approach to immortality on Earth is a government bureaucracy. This was the observation of James Burns, who once held the senior cabinet post held today by Anthony Blinken. Do you have an answer? No, no. we do not. Uh, Anthony Blinken is Secretary of State. And with that, you still did very well in this round and started out the day with 180 points on the board. Very nicely done. Next up, we have our team from Charleroi High School. Before we get to the questions, though, let's meet the team. Hi, my name is Sarah Grace Porter. Um, I'm the president of Student Council at Charleroi High School. I am also the student director of the Spring Musical, and I'm the captain of the Academic League. I also participate in volleyball and track. My name is Lacey Zanardini. I'm vice president of the senior class at Charleroi High School, and I'm involved in academic league and drafting club. My name is Grace Hutchin. I'm a junior at Charleroi High School. I'm involved with the executive committee and academic league. Charleroi High School, it is great to have you back on the show. And here's your first database round question. You'll have no major problems if you find hidden here the name of what Middle Eastern country whose capital is Amman? Jordan. That's it. Which of these adjectives best describes someone who is a zealot? Fanatical. Correct. Iron curb. Rearrange these letters and you can name what river which Julius Caesar crossed in 49 BC saying, the die is cast. Rubicon. Rubicon is right. Very nicely done. Lonesome George the tortoise. George the Snail. These two creatures, each the last of its kind, have now died. George the Snail in Hawaii and Lonesome George in what islands that belong to Ecuador? Galapagos. Correct. All quiet along the Potomac. This Civil War report was given day after day by what lethargic Union general nicknamed Little Mac? Macmillan. McClellan was the correct answer there. You were very, very close. And with that, you started off very well, also with 180 points on the board. So a great start, keeping things very, very close here at Charleroi High School. Next up, we have our team from Fox Chapel. The scoring will work the same, but before we get to your database round questions, let's meet the team. Hi, my name is Eli Conklin. 
I'm a junior here at Fox Chapel Area High School, and outside of school, I golf and play the French horn. Hi, I'm Aditya Tirumala. I'm a sophomore here at Fox Chapel Area High School. Uh, in my free time, I do hometown high and I'm also part of the debate team, and I am part of the math club. Hi, my name is Shreya Krishnamurthy. I am a sophomore here at Fox Chapel Area High School, and I am part of the math club, and I write for our school's magazine, Fox Tales. Fox Chapel, it's great having you back on the show, and here we go with your first database round question. Hidden in this list is the name of what African country whose capital is Kampala? Uganda. That's it. Which of these adjectives best describes someone who is petulant? Irritable. Irritable. Correct. See a fooling tuna. If you look closely, you'll see that the letters in this phrase can be rearranged to name what international peace organization that preceded the UN? League of Nations. That's right. Egg yolk, fried egg. Both these terms are used to refer to a yellow jellyfish found in the Yellow Sea, which borders what politically divided Asian peninsula? Korean. Korean peninsula. That's the right one. I see no point in reading. This unenlightened attitude towards education was expressed by what French monarch known as the Sun King? And I do need his number. Louis the 14th. Yeah. yeah. Louis the 14th. Louis the 14th is the correct Louis and the correct number. Very nicely done. You start the day off perfectly with 200 points on the board. Way to go, Fox Chapel. And that keeps things here very, very close as we head towards the Pix File round, which is coming up next as William's hometown high continues. <laughs> 